Hello guys, this is your Just One Guy, and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now in this episode, we're going to redo the ladder script that I did before, and this time I've made it a lot simpler and easier to use. Now I was getting some comments on how exactly the ladder script works and uh, how to put it into Unity 5, and I made one for Unity 5, but it wasn't exactly clear, and I don't remember exactly how I did it. So what I did was I redid it so it's a lot simpler. And it works for not only the first person controller, but it also works for the uh, rigid body first person controller very easily. Now first you can see we have these two scripts here, and this is all you'll need to make it work. This one goes on the character, and this one goes on the ladder object. Now the, uh, the, the most complicated part about this is setting up the ladder object, and I'll go into that now. Now what we have here is the ladder. Now the ladder is composed of three parts. The ladder top, the ladder and the ladder bottom, I'm sorry, four parts, because the ladder top has an end point, and I'll explain uh, that in a minute. Now, every one of these points, except the uh, ladder top point, has the ladder type script on it. Now, I'll be uploading the uh, scripts here, so you can just download the scripts directly, or you could download the project file, but uh, I've been getting some messages saying uh, people didn't like to click, uh, click on the links, and the reason I put the links up there is because they won't let they won't let me put the code in the uh, description anymore. I don't know why YouTube changed a lot of stuff, but it won't let me do that. So I just say click on the uh, links. The script links only take you to the pastebin website where you just paste uh, just stuff like that. But the, uh, the project one, it'll take you to my Media Fire account and you'll be able to download it directly. But uh, that's how that's how we putting it up here. Right now I wrote I uh, wrote it in C sharp, but I plan to write it in JavaScript later on too. But let's get back to it. We have this uh, this ladder object right here. Now first we have the ladder. This is the part of the ladder you'll be climbing, which is the longest part. And you you have this ladder type script on it. Then you have the ladder bottom. This is the bottom of the ladder where when a player hits this, you want the player to stop climbing. And it also has that ladder type script on it. And this is the ladder top script, which is kind of an important part. This one is to uh, let the player know they reached the top of the ladder. And let me just change this for a minute. This ladder top point right here, when the player reaches the top of the ladder, this is where you want the player to uh, go. Because it's going uh, to move the player onto the, uh, the object you want them to be on top of. So this is the end point where you want the player to go. And that's what that little ladder top point is. Now let me explain the uh, scripts. First we have this ladder type script. Just go right here. And it has three variables. It actually has four variables I believe. Is ladder. Now is ladder is that long part right here that you want the player to go up and down. The is top of ladder is the top of the ladder right here. Now the top of the ladder requires an endpoint, just an empty game object where you want the player to end up at when they finish climbing the ladder. You can't place it on top because if you place it like this, the player is just going to fall back down. So it's a good idea to place it over here just so the player can land on top of something. And just be aware when you're, uh, when you're putting together this ladder, it's a good idea to do it this way because your character still has a collider. So when it tries to translate to that uh, end point, you don't want it to get stuck on this right here. So put the top point right here, and then just put the let me zoom out a little bit, the end point on top. See how I have it, and it'll do that right there. Okay, and last we have uh, the the ladder bottom point, and you just check that for the ladder bottom point. All you have to do when you put together this ladder is just check the boxes according to which part of the ladder it is. If it's the bottom of the ladder, this is the part where you want the player to stop. Now when the player hits this box, if they're pressing down, or for the axis for down, it don't matter if you're pressing the regular key or the S key or whatever, it'll, it'll just read the axis and it'll uh, stop climbing. And now we have the ladder script that goes on the player. Now I've made this really simple. It's either using the rigid body first person controller or the first person controller. You just click which one and uh, uh, set how fast you want the player to climb. I've got it set to 5, that seemed like a good speed. 
Now I'll go into the scripts in a minute, but I'll show you just how easy it is to use. First, I'm doing it with the first person controller. And you can see right here, I just have the first person controller set up. It's the basic one. I just put the ladder on and I check using first person controller. Now. Okay, let's turn that sound off because that's annoying. I don't know if the sound will turn off the microphone, so I'm just going to leave it on. But that sound is pretty annoying. But all we have to do is go up to the ladder. And you can see we can climb up, and we can climb down the ladder. And when we get to the top, you see it automatically moved us to the end point. We can climb back down. And the interesting uh, thing about this is, you can even run and jump on the ladder and it will still work. See? And you can climb back down. And if you climb back down, it will just hit that bottom point and that will be the end of it. Let me just show it from the scene view so you can get a better idea what's, of what's happening. I think the computer for me. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about this. The uh, first person controller, for some reason, it makes the uh, mouse disappear. I mean, the uh, cursor disappear. Now, that's not my script. That's how the uh, first person controller script works. I don't know how to disable that because I haven't really looked into it. But this is the script doing it. It's not the latter script. Now, the rigid body, it does have a uh, actual uh, option to control it. And the rigid body first person controller. Yeah, see right here to lock the cursor or not, but in uh, actual first-person controller, I couldn't find it. But uh, let's go to the scene view so you can see what uh, exactly what it's doing. Just scroll up, and we'll minimize this. Okay. Uh, my frames per second while recording is horrible, but whatever. Okay, you can see we're going up the ladder, and when we hit the ladder top point, look what happens. See? And that's about it. You can jump off, you can climb back down, and it's just a simple ladder. Now, the, ra uh, the ladder will make you face the uh, rotation of the ladder, so it's important that when you're making the ladder, because the ladder, uh, it locks the player in place. You make sure this blue uh, forward thing is going towards the direction you want the player to face. Because that's how I set up the ladder, so it automatically sets the rotation of the player. Okay, we've seen it work with the, uh, the first person controller. Now for the rigid body first person controller. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot to set the variable. We're using the rigid body first person controller, so we want to click this variable. And you can see how simple it is already. All you have to do is click one of these two, and everything else is already set up. And let's look at it. And it basically works the same. We go up it, if we hit that top point. It translates this down. We can climb up, we can climb down, and it'll just do that. We can jump onto the ladder and climb up, and that's it. You can see how simple it is. It works as a ladder. You don't have to click any variables. All you have to do is click which controller you're using, and the uh, the uh, climb speed, how fast you want the player to move up and down the ladder, and that's it. It'll automatically detect the uh, the first person controller or the rigid body first person controller, and that's it. All you have to do is set up the ladder with a middle point, an end point, a, a middle point, a ladder bottom, so it can stop the player. Just put it at the bottom, and just follow the same setup I got here. You can look at the video, or you can just download the project file, and 
the only important thing that you must uh, remember is to face all the pieces this way and add that ladder top point where you want the uh, the player to get off at and just make sure you put that ladder top point right here and if you somehow forget it'll give you an error saying you didn't put the ladder top point right there and check which uh, put the put the ladder type on on the top ladder and the bottom and just click which one it is is it the ladder is it the ladder top or is it the ladder bottom and that's it for the setup now let's go into the scripts <coughs> sorry now I wrote it in C sharp this time because I noticed a lot of people who write in C sharp I hate C sharp because it's over it's unnecessarily complicated but I wrote it in C sharp basically you don't have to worry about any of these variables because they're not really important and they're self-explanatory let's go into the uh, climb type first it's just asking is it a ladder is it a ladder top is it a ladder bottom and then it has the uh, the ladder endpoint for the the top ladder endpoint for we want the player to end up at the top of the ladder when they stop climbing and then right here it's just a setup it gives you an error saying a ladder object is marked as is ladder top but has no top ladder endpoint just in case you forget to put that in and then it lets you know to put it in this is just uh, to check if to make sure you have the ladder endpoint. Well, if if, the, if it's marked as the, uh, a ladder top. Now, right here, it's just uh, checking: is the player on the ladder? Is the player on the ladder top? Is the player on the ladder bottom? This is uh, the rigid body first person controller, the rigid body first person setup. I'm uh, the rigid body non. I'm at the non rigid body first person controller. The speed you want the uh, player to climb at. Oh no, this is action if it's using uh, which script. I mean, which uh, controller is using, and then this is uh, the actual controllers. It detects your vertical input of the player, the up and down input. It does that automatically as long as your axes are set up. If your axes is a Unity should set the axes up automatically for the project because that's how it is. But in case it isn't. This is where your axes are, just in case. It looks at this axis right here. And if you somehow change this or somehow messed it up, you can just look at this video and copy it right here and set this axis up like that. But Unity should automatically set that up when it starts. That's how uh, Unity works. Let's go back to it, but it just checks that as the vertical input. And then it checks uh, the ladder top point if you're at the target point for the ladder top point this is when it's moving it to the ladder top point it checks is it there or is it not there then you have uh, the rigid but it just finds the uh, which controller you're using right here it just uh, checks for the, uh, the vertical axis and it does the logic that uh, if it's at target point if it's at the top and it just uh, does a bunch of logic Basically, uh, it's checking. This is the move it to the uh, ladder top point. When you hit that ladder top point, it's mo it moves the character to that uh, ladder endpoint, and that's what this is doing. Then it's checking the distance, and it's saying, "Hey, if we hit the distance, stop the player from climbing and reset the uh, controller, because it turns the controller off and back on." Right here, ah, oh, I almost forgot to mention. Each one of these points have a, a, a box collider on it. And make sure you set the box collider to trigger. That's very important. I almost forgot that. Make sure you set the box collider to trigger. All For all of these objects, that's how it's working. See? You have box colliders, and they're all on trigger. And that's how the player is uh, detecting it. Uh, right here on, on trigger stay, which is the trigger function, which is why you have to set it. It's just detecting uh, is the is the player I mean is the player pressing up or down by the axis is uh, reading the axis and if the player is pressing up what it's doing is it's checking if it's hitting something with the ladder type script and then it's just uh, setting um, it's setting the position and rotation of the ladder I mean of uh, the player to the ladder and as you can see I really hate C sharp right here and this explains why. Uh, and then it just tells the player it's on a ladder. And if it's on a ladder bottom, it's just saying if the player presses down while they're on the ladder bottom, stop climbing. And if it's on a ladder, uh, start the climbing logic, which is down here, which I'll go to in a minute. 
on trigger enter it's just checking if it hit a ladder type script and then if it did it's uh it's turning off the controllers and everything like that and then just setting up the ladder logic to find uh the ladder endpoint and everything like that if it hits the ladder top right here is just in case it's uh the second controller the first person controller the non rigid body one it's doing the same thing it's just checking if it's the non rigid body controller and right here if it hits on a uh, trigger exit it's saying if we exit the collider say on the ladder is false this is uh, what happens if it hits the top of the ladder it just sets a bunch of variables to true and wait a second until it hits the uh, target I mean if it hits the target point it waits a second and then resets the, uh, the target point basically it says it, it's resetting everything so the, uh, so you can climb again this is what moves the player from the, uh, if you hit the top of the ladder this is what moves it to the ladder endpoint which is simp uh, which is simply moving a move towards function that's moving the transform towards the, uh, the point and this is what allows the player oh this is uh this turns off gravity for the player so the player can go up and down the ladder and everything for both controllers and then it just says uh the player is able to use the ladder this is stop climbing it resets gravity turns gravity back on then turns the controller back on for uh, depending on which controller you're using and then it says we're not on a ladder anymore some of this stuff is probably redundant but it's best to have it that way I set it up that way for a specific reason because I was doing a lot of testing and this is the final uh, use ladder use ladder function and what it does is if the player is pressing up it allows the player to go up by the uh, climbing speed divided by seven and if the player is pressing down it allows the player to go down and this is times uh, times time dot delta time which is it makes it the same for every uh, computer regardless of the frame rate and that's about it but all you have to worry about is setting this ladder up in the exact way remember it just needs a ladder top a ladder middle a ladder bottom each one has to have a box collider representing the shape of the ladder and make each one trigger put the ladder type script on and check which one it is this one will be its ladder this one will be its ladder top and this one will be its ladder bottom None of these except the uh, is ladder top needs the endpoint. Set the endpoint where you want the player to land when they get off the top of the ladder. Put the endpoint uh, transform right here. And if you don't, it'll give you a warning. And put the put the ladder script on your player. Put which uh click uh, which controller you're using the rigid body first person controller or the first person controller set the climb speed and you're done you can see it's a lot simpler it's a lot easier and that's about it that's it for today thank you for watching